What's going on guys? Welcome back to Car Drift Racing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new 90 Adhesion Street tune, this time for the 300ZX. This car is going to be the second Nissan in our brand new top 5 tune series here on CarX, where I ask everybody from our Discord to vote on their favorite cars within a certain OEM. We then take the top 5 and I work out a tune and setup for each one for you guys to try out. You guys know the drill. First we're going to hop into some driving clips, talk a little bit about the car, how I tuned it and how I like to drive it, then I'm going to give you guys the entire setup so you can try it out for yourselves. As always guys, if you do enjoy the tune or the video, feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe for more just like it, and I'll catch you guys in the gameplay. Alright guys, so here we are at the 300ZX. Now, if you did watch the most recent S15 tune video, you'll remember me explaining that these cars are going to be designed for the top 5 series on a spectrum. On one end of the spectrum, you're going to have pro style cars. These cars are going to handle looser, they're going to be a little bit more capable, but a little bit more prone to spinning out if you're not careful with your steering. On the other end of that spectrum, you have cars like this one. This car is tuned entirely with tandem driving in mind. That means this car is going to transition super slow and smooth, it's going to have a ton of sturdiness if it does get banged around in a tandem train, and it's going to be way less prone to spinning out if you guys are a little bit newer or aren't super comfortable with your steering. Even if you guys are a little bit higher skill level, I do encourage you to check this car out. I think it's hugely beneficial to drive a car like this, even if you end up back in a pro style tune eventually, because the type of driving you get in a tune like this can really inform some of the decisions you make when it comes time to drive that pro car. Let's head over to the dyno stand. All right, guys, here we are with the setup for the 300ZX. First thing we're gonna do is head on into mods and swaps. Make sure you have the ultimate applied. That's gonna allow you to tune every aspect of the vehicle. And while we're here, we're gonna check our engine. We are running the stock engine once again, so no worries there. Heading on into body kits next, guys. We are running the RT body kit on this one. Headlights are gonna be stock. Front bumper is gonna be RT. Hood is gonna be stock as well. Roof is gonna be street. Side mirrors are gonna be CBW. Roll cage is gonna be stock. Skirts are RT. Rear bumper is gonna be RT as well. Spoiler is gonna be CBW. Taillights are CBW. Exhaust is gonna to be slide performance. Seats are both going to be Sprath racing parts. Steering wheel is going to be Recar X. Handbrake is going to be Sprath and shifter is going to be Sprath as well. For wheels, we got number five in the drift category and nothing special on the tires. So heading on into design and paint next, guys. We are running just the standard gloss color for this one, guys. We got F28800FF and the whole car is painted this color. Interior, we left the color stock. Suspension, we did modify though. We do have the metallic rim on the wheel here. FEFEFEFF. Spokes are going to be 717171FF and those are both metallic colors. The arms for this car, guys, are going to be white. Spring is going to be red. Strut is going to be white as well. And our caliper is red for this one, too. I don't believe we're running any headlight glass on this one. And honestly, I threw it on the S15 and kind of immediately regretted it. So I don't think we're going to run any headlight glass on this car. Taillights, though, we did smoke out. We got 121212FF. And the windshields, we got some smoke as well. 131313FF. Nothing for tire smoke, guys. I do believe we have some vinyl tricks, though. So on this body kit, you guys will notice there's these, like, louver things in the rear window. And those are body color. I wanted to delete them really, really bad, but couldn't find a way to do it. So what I did instead was I blacked them out with vinyl. So really what this is, is just a few gloss black shapes kind of layered on top of each other just to black out that louver and make it look a little more subtle. Just for reference here, guys, that is the original. It doesn't look bad at all, but it was just a little much where we have clean body lines kind of everywhere else on the car. I just, I wasn't a huge fan. So I feel like blacking them out is a huge improvement. That's going to round off design and paint guys. Up next, we do have our setup here in the dyno stand. We're running 11 and nine for spring lengths. Stiffness is going to be 93 and 105. Fast bump 5190 and 5190 fast rebound 5190 and 5450 damper bump at 5190 and 5320 and damper rebound at 6380 and 6380 sway bars are going to be zero and three that's going to round off the stiffness section alignment next we have toe at 0.4 and 0.1 camera at negative 6.55 and negative 0.5 caster at 10.5 steering axis 10 max steering angle as always ackerman at 70 and kingpin at 10 degrees for wheels we got 19s on this one with 240s pressure is going to be at 105 and 85 adhesion is 90 both ways wheelbase is 8 and 5 and our tire profile is 35 on this one. For brakes we got a torque at 11.02, bias at 70%, no ABS and no launch control on this one. We are running the stock engine in this build guys, external wastegate is on, tune up is all the way up, max torque at 51.45, rev limiter at 8800, turbocharger is on with 1.1 ATMs of air pressure. For transmission guys we do have the sequential in this one with the clutch base limited slip, we have 60 for a preload, 0 for power lock, 30 for coast lock, final drive at 3.45, gear 1 at 3.3, gear 2 at 1.9, gear 3 at 1.9, 1.3, gear 4 at 1.15, gear 5 at 1.05, and gear 6 at 1 even. So that is going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the tune or the video, please feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe for more, just like it, and let me know down in the comments what you think. Once again, guys, I appreciate you a ton if you made it this far, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.